Welcome back to The Plot Twist, where we delve into the most gripping and unexpected turns in the saga of House Targaryen. In Season 2, Episode 3 of House of the Dragon, the enigmatic Aelis Rivers foresees a grim fate for Daemon Targaryen, a death at Harrenhal. As we unravel the layers of this prophecy, we journey through Daemon's final days, his heroic deeds, and his undying love for Queen Rhaenyra. Join us as we explore the legendary and tragic end of one of the most formidable figures in Westerosi history. Major spoilers ahead! In the bloody and tumultuous era of the Dance of the Dragons, few figures stood as tall and as defiant as Prince Daemon Targaryen. His exploits, from the daring capture of Harrenhal to the brutal revenge for his stepson's murder, cemented his legacy as one of the most formidable warriors of his time. But it was his final act, a dramatic confrontation with his mortal enemy, that truly defined the end of an era. Daemon's capture of Harrenhal was a masterstroke of strategy and audacity. The experienced prince led the assault with unyielding courage, landing Caraxes atop Kingspire Tower, forcing the garrison to surrender without a fight. This victory not only secured a strategic position but also galvanized support for Rhaenyra in the Riverlands. His love for Rhaenyra was unwavering, a fierce devotion that drove him to ever greater feats of valor. The news of Prince Lucerus Valerian's death at the hands of Prince Eamon Targaryen at Storm's End ignited Daemon's wrath. Through his former mistress, Myceria, Daemon orchestrated a gruesome revenge, hiring blood and cheese to infiltrate the Red Keep and murder Prince Jaehaerys, son of Aegon II. This act of vengeance deepened the enmity between the rival factions. It was not just for Lucerys that Daemon sought revenge, but also for the honor of his beloved Rhaenyra, who had lost a cherished son. Daemon's past enemies resurfaced as Sir Otto Hightower recruited the Triarchy to send a fleet against the Blacks. The Battle of the Gullet saw the Valerian blockade shattered and Daemon's stepson, Jace, killed. Despite this setback, Daemon's resolve remained unbroken. He continued to fight with an indomitable spirit, driven by his fierce love for Rhaenyra and his unwavering commitment to their cause. Daemon's abandonment of Harrenhal, as Eamon and Kristen Cole marched on the castle, marked a strategic withdrawal. Flying Caraxes back to the capital, Daemon played a crucial role in the fall of King's Landing to Rhaenyra's forces. His lover, Myceria, became the unofficial mistress of Whisperers, solidifying their power. Throughout this tumultuous period, Daemon's love for Rhaenyra remained a guiding light, a beacon that fueled his every action. Tasked with hunting down Eamon and Vaga, Daemon and Nettles made Maidenpool their base. Despite their disparate backgrounds, Daemon grew close to the young dragon seed, treating her with unexpected kindness and affection. Their bond, however, sowed distrust and jealousy within Rhaenyra's court. The betrayal of dragon seed's Hugh Hammer and Ulf White at the first battle of Tumbleton further strained relations within Rhaenyra's camp. Myceria's insinuations about Daemon and Nettle's relationship fed Rhaenyra's paranoia, leading her to order Nettle's execution. Daemon, forewarned, helped Nettles escape before setting off for Harrenhal one last time. Daemon's return to Harrenhal was marked by solitude and anticipation. Each evening, he slashed the castle's heart tree, waiting for Eamon's arrival. After two weeks, Eamon finally came, bringing with him the formidable Vaga and his paramour, Aelis Rivers. Daemon's love for Rhaenyra was as fierce as his hatred for Eamon, fueling his determination to confront his enemy. The fateful battle between Daemon and Eamon, known as the Battle Above the God's Eye, was a clash of titans. As their dragons grappled in mid-air, Daemon performed a death-defying leap, driving Dark Sister into Eamon's blind eye. Both dragons plummeted into the lake, their struggle ending in a watery grave. Caraxes managed to crawl ashore before succumbing to his wounds. The bodies of Eamon and Vaga were later discovered in the depths of the God's Eye, but Daemon's body was never found. Some speculate he might have survived, but most historians agree that his final, heroic act marked the end of his storied life. The fierce devotion he held for Rhaenyra, his undying love, and his unyielding courage remain etched in the annals of history. Daemon Targaryen's death was a significant turning point in the Dance of the Dragons. His relentless pursuit of vengeance, his strategic brilliance, and his defiant end ensured that his name would be remembered as one of the most legendary figures in Targaryen history. The Dance of the Dragons claimed many lives, but none as fierce and indomitable as Daemon Targaryen. His legacy of valor and vengeance echoes through the annals of Westerosi history, a testament to a prince who lived and died by the sword.